was writing a sentence just the other day But I had to stop in the middle because I didn't know what to say On one of my subject and verb to agree I sat and thought a while, but the sentence confused me My subject was something, a word that has no count Was it singular or plural? I googled to find out The rules I read again and again All this information sure makes my head spin the singular pronouns always make me wonder One thing body, either, neither, each another The plural pronouns are tricky, so please be careful Both, few, many, others, and several All, any, more, most, none, and some Can be both, so look for the subject's location Indefinite pronouns haunting people every day Remember the song, so you can get an A Understood it then, and I had my sentence straight. But confusion set in, so I had to wait. I wanted to keep on writing, but I had so many doubts. Did I apply my new knowledge? Did I figure it out? How did my paragraph look? Was it all right? I had to find some examples. It was gonna be a long night. Singular pronouns always make me wonder. One thing, body, either, neither, each, another. The plural pronouns are tricky, so please be careful. Both, few, many. Others and several, all, any, more, most, none, and some Can be both for the subject's location Indefinite pronouns haunting people every day Nobody likes to lose. Few know these rules. Anyone can master this. Maybe several will practice this. Neither children nor adults have learned. Others have. It's of great concern that most people still don't know these pronouns. So I'm saying these things slow. Each rule is spelled out in definite pronouns have no real count. The singular pronouns always make me wonder. One thing, body, either, neither, each, another. The plural pronouns are tricky, so please be careful. Both, few, many, others, and several. All, any, more, most, none, and some. Can be, both look for the subject's location. Indefinite pronouns haunting people every day. Remember the song so you can get that A.